This podcast workflow video is designed to familiarize you with the steps required for completing a podcast session. The Rodecaster Pro unit that you see on the screen is just like the one at MHEC. A lot of the initial configurations have already been completed. At the time, you are ready to do an actual podcast recording. There are a few things to do that are individualized uh, at the time of the session. <clears throat> You'll see that there's four microphone uh, tracks here, and right now I'm talking on track one. Each track has also has its own headphone setting, and you can see that track one number one has been adjusted uh, for my headphones. Each participant has their own earbuds or headphones as well as microphone. So prior to recording a podcast, usually the person that's in charge of moderating or guiding the conversation is on track one and other participants are two, three, and four as required. By pressing the number at the top of the microphone slider brings you to a spot where you can check individualized parameters. On this screen, we're really going to worry about the voice choices and the level choices. So tapping the voice icon, you see two choices here, tone and strength. Each of these settings is a self-select. And what I mean by that is you're going to identify your voice tone or voice range. Do you have a deep voice, a medium range voice, or a higher pitched voice? And as a general guide, you would choose whether you're more softly spoken, a medium strength voice, or a louder, stronger voice. Each of these two sets of parameters really just helps the machine get things into the right ballpark. The second area is the level area. And here, when you're talking, you want to have your mouth maybe six to eight inches, 15 to 20 centimeters away from the microphone. And as you look at the volume bar, it should reach just into the area of the two green parallel bars. And once you have it set, uh, properly. Uh, that means you'll get a nice clear sound at optimum volume without any distortion. And you can see for this uh, first mic set, I've already got things adjusted properly. There's two adjustments, the main slider, and then you can fine tune with uh, the level buttons hitting the plus or minus to uh, make kind of a fine, fine tune to the, the volume level. I'm going to show you an example of setting up a microphone now for the second participant. So I'm going to press the number two and you'll see the slider is down towards the bottom. So with this second mic, we do the same two steps. We first of all start with the voice and we complete the two self-select options. We self-select a deep voice, medium voice, or a higher pitched voice. And we also give an overall indication of a quiet voice, a medium loud voice, or a stronger voice. Now when I select level on this example, I'm going to go over to another microphone and actually show this process right from the beginning. Now you can see with this microphone, the volume bar is falling short 
of the green bars most of the time. So what I need to do is move the slider up a little bit and a great starting spot is just a little bit above halfway. Now speaker number two can, can talk a little bit. You see the volume bar is a little bit more consistent. It's not moving back and forth as much, but it's still short of the green bars. So in this instance, I might try tapping on the plus sign and adjusting that number upwards just a little bit. Usually moving two or three numbers at a time is sufficient. And now you can see we're just at the edge of the green bar. So I'm going to move it up just another couple of numbers. There, that should be, I think, better. We're just into the green, which means the voice should record nicely without any volume issues or distortion. So at this point, that covers off the setting up of the microphones. And if we had a third and fourth participant, we would follow exactly those same steps. The, the other thing we need to do prior to making a recording is to familiarize our sounds with the onboard sounds, which are triggered by the set of pads on the right hand side of the device. So by tapping the gear button, now you will see that there's a sounds button. And tapping that brings up a matching set of eight pads. Now what you're seeing here on the screen is bank one. These are eight preloaded sounds that come with the roadcaster. These can be left in place or they can be overwritten so that you have your own customized sounds. But luckily, the roadcaster allows us to have multiple banks. So for this demonstration, I'm going to leave these ones all intact and I'll press the right arrow so that you can uh, see bank two. Now on this particular bank, I have six uh, sounds loaded and the three on the right side are extra music that I've prepared uh, for use in our, our work. So I'm going to play just one of them so you have an idea. You'll notice the slider is a little bit below the halfway mark. And I've already preset that so that I know that there's no distortion as we make this recording. At the point the music stops and you validated the volume levels, then essentially if all your participants are ready to go at the mics, then you're ready to start. Basically from this point, the next steps are to activate the record button, play your introductory music, and then the person guiding the conversation or moderating or asking the questions, doing the interview, that person, probably the number one microphone person, will kick off the discussion and sort of set the stage for the recording. And you would go through and complete your conversation. Usually at the end, it's tradition that the moderator or leader would thank the participants for participating in the discussion and uh, contributing and sharing their thinking. And then you would play perhaps a, another selection of music, might be the same as the first one, just to kind of end the podcast. And then you would 
hit the rep record button again just to uh, bring things to a close and save your file on the device. So let's actually walk through all of those steps. Now we've completed our microphone settings. Uh, we've checked our, our sounds that we want to use. And so now I begin by pressing record and playing a piece of music. I'm going to choose a different piece of music this time. And as the music fades, the discussion leader will then kick off the conversation for however long that that takes. So there'll be lots of talking and discussion. And at the end, there'll be the thank yous. And we'll uh, play some outgoing music. I'll choose a, a third example for you. And once the music fades out, then I press the record button again. You can see from the view of the screen that it turns to green again. So we're back into standby mode and the discussion that would have happened has now been recorded to uh, the SD card that's part of this unit. So that concludes our podcast workflow demonstration. I hope that this is a helpful resource for you.